Well, it is a pretty simple tool, but as any tool, you need to know the rules in order that it works as expected. Okay, so yes, why I call it uh, 3.0? Because you may have uh, noticed I rewrite some of my script from my uh, script tool set, and most are on third version. So in order to unify everything and to start on a fresh start. Okay, so you have both tab, uh, the setting, which is empty for now, just to remember about the default version and the main one. Okay, great. Um, it's in order of execution. Okay, so a wild is, you know, between different parts. So let's start simple with Two sphere, for example. Okay, one and two. And I want the whale to be intersect between these two mesh. So it's why at first you have two options, intersection or you can input your curve directly. For now, we will go into intersection where it's welded that will automatically generate, generate the curve based on the intersection between your two mesh. As you can see, I choose two spheres that are not um, pretty well defined. So here you can see the curve will be exactly generated on the mesh, of course. And you can see here it's pretty, uh, how to say, linear. Okay, it's not really smooth. So what I can advise you if you want a better result is to smooth your mesh, to have a smoother curve. Okay, well, it will automatically uh, take in count the smooth preview. Okay, now I click on intersection, waiting a bit. It will create Boolean and all the stuff on the background. Okay, once it's done, you have something a bit strange like that. Uh, some node here on the outliner, don't touch anything. If you rename or touch something, that will broke. Um, the best thing is you don't save, you, you can save, but you have to finish your wild rocks before to save or anything, or the script will have, we can have problem to save um, information, okay? Create one weld, you baked, and it's okay. So let's continue. Most of the part is done automatically by the script, but you still have some control to adjust the weld um, to have the look you want. It's why you then have the adjustment tab. The first one is instance. In fact, the weld duplicate instance along the welding curve. But for now, we can really well see them. Um, the first thing is rotation. Rotation is here to correct the rotation okay, of the weld. You have in fact, it's some kind of cons. Okay, let's come here. You see, they are a bit big. So I will go down on the size too. Okay, seems better. What is that? What are this kind of con and triangles? In fact, is uh, to help the, you have to help the script to find the normal direction. Let me hide that. Okay, here we have our intersection. Okay, and what we expected is that um, from this to this, we want the weld to be here. And the normal of this weld will be okay, it's an average between the both, something like that. And you have to help the script to found this value that don't need to be perfect, okay? But um, as you saw, when we start, the rotation was wrong and, and was inside, so it's not great. It's something, okay, about, let's say, like that, okay, point on the right of um, outside direction. Then you have the size. The size is just the larger you want, more or less, your well to be. And the instance. For the instance, you need to have some overlapping. Here you see it's not overlapping, I need more. Not too much, not too less. 
that, that will depend also on the look of the well you want. Um, okay, then we have offset. To offset the look, but I will keep it at zero and jitter for some jitter variation. So this one is more sensitive. So I will go, okay. Okay, for some randomness. But I will keep at zero. For now, I would like uh, to have a preview of my weld. For that, you have the weld mesh and you will hit the preview weld. So now I am was on the little cone that was an helper for me to adjustment. And here is my weld look. So you see, like real world weld, uh, you have this kind of cylinder overlapping. Okay, and now uh, what is the, it's create a mesh. It's one merge mesh, you see, with this, uh, yes, merge effect. So now it's great and we can continue to refine it a bit uh, with adjustment even on the preview mode. Here you have the resolution. Be careful with that because of course, of course, the more resolution and definition and quality you get, and the slower it will be to tweak. So for now, I will keep on a preview uh, low resolution to continue to rock on maybe the size of my, the number of instance. The number of instants will change the look. So you have to find the right. Change also between resolution if I want something really close. I can change slowly the offset from where I start or more in inside the mesh. Deal also with the size. Okay, it's it's you to to find and a bit of jitter for have some more variation. So depend on the your scene scale. Okay, some jitter, just a bit. That could be more or less sensitive. You don't need to have the best result. So the lower the value is, the um, the more detail and resolution that will be. But it's not necessarily the best to have the lower and most resolution because weld are something pretty merge in fact. So you have to find the, the look you want, okay? And it's okay. So cancel will cancel everything if you want to clean your scene and don't do it or baked. You can't do another weld you have to bake the first one, okay? It's just one by one because there is a lot of process uh, on Maya and Node and things like that. When you are happy with that, uh, just bake it. And now that will clean for you and you will have your mesh, just a mesh. You can add shader or anything. Uh, for example, let's open mod it. Add one light, add some chrome effect. And yes, pretty nice. Let's do another example. If for some reason you want to input your own curve uh, because there is no intersection or any anything, uh, let's select this cube, generate, make it paintable. Uh, you can, cr with the paint effect tool here, I can draw on this mesh a curve. Okay. Now I can convert, modify, convert. Here you have the paint effect to curves. Yes, I struck. Okay. And it's a kind of trick to paint a curve. And you should have a curve here. Okay, I will clean all of that. And this way, 
I will input this curve to create a weld. So as always, I will fix first the rotation. I want this to be on top here. The size is a bit too big. Instance look great. Okay, let's preview. Too much instance. So of course it's a bit strange because it's a weld on a flight surface without intersection. It's not the best. But it's just to show you uh, on this tutorial what you can do with import curve if you want baked. One last example. With some tube. So here you see if the tube are on the same side, you will not have a great Boolean effect. So be sure to have something cleaner. My problem here is the curve will not be great. It, it, it's not really a problem, but the curve will be really not nice. So that would be better to have maybe a clean smooth mesh. So I will select the both and smooth them. So I select both intersection. I waiting some second and I have. I fix the rotation if needed. And yes, want a bigger one. And voila, a nice weld easily. So hope you like it and of course don't hesitate to give feedback on the Discord.